Hi, I'm Miranda, and I'm a nutrition educator with FoodWise. Today, we're gonna to be making yogurt bark. We got our ingredients from the Feeding America boxes, but you can find these staples at any pantry or the grocery store. All right, so today we're gonna to make a few different flavors. Um, we have our vanilla flavored yogurt. If you don't have a pre-flavored yogurt that you're using, you can always um, use plain yogurt and just add in any flavoring. So honey, maple syrup, or any other kind of sweetener that you'd like. So I'd mix this up and now I'm just going to pour an even layer onto our tin foil. You can also use um, parchment paper or wax paper um, if you don't have tin foil. Great, so now that we have it in a nice even layer, um, we're gonna do it in thirds. So this first section, we have um, berries that were frozen that have thawed a little bit. This is gonna get frozen again, so they don't need to be thawed. It's just what we had on hand. And we also have some fresh berries that we gave a good rinse and I just throw them on. The next section is a granola. If you want more of a crunchy yogurt. And you can combine flavors too. So if you want yogurt or er, granola and berries, you can do that. And our last section is more of a dessert yogurt bark. So we've melted some peanut butter. And yours might be a little bit more runny, but it's just however you like it. So we're just gonna put some Globs here and there. And then we're gonna add some chocolate chips. All right, so once you have um, put all your toppings onto your yogurt, you can put it in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes, um, taking it out when it is solid. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's been in the freezer for um, about 20 minutes or so. Um, so now you can either use a knife if you want, or you can just easily go ahead and break it apart into different pieces that you can store in an airtight container or a freezer bag um, and enjoy. In the box that we got our ingredients, we had multiple containers of yogurt. Um, and we're not gonna be able to eat this before it goes bad. So if you have a similar situation where you have too much yogurt at home, a great tip is to freeze it in ice cube trays and use it later on. So um, ice or using ice cube trays to freeze your yogurt is great because you can pop these little guys in smoothies um, if you want, or you can um, just eat them as a tasty frozen yogurt treat. Or if you have kids at home and you want to do something fun, if you have mini popsicle sticks, you can also make yogurt pops. And if you have fun shaped um, ice cube trays, that's also a good idea for children. <laughs> 